In the crushing In the pressing You are making new wine In the soil I Now surrender You are breaking new ground So I yield to you Into your careful hand When I trust you I don't need to understand Make me your vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever You want me to be I came here with nothing But all you have given me Jesus, bring new wine out of me In the crushing In the pressing You are making new wine In the soil I now surrender You are breaking new ground You are breaking new ground So make me a vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever I came here with nothing But all you have given me Jesus, bring new wine out of me Jesus, bring new wine out of me Jesus, bring new wine out of me Cause where there is new so beautiful. You, Aidan and Taya, singing New Wine. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I just wish you could have been involved. I do too, but I wasn't. <laughs> um, I'm real keen to hear about where this song came from. Hey, what were you thinking when you wrote it? Um, I think there are some songs as a writer that you write and you have, I suppose, a specific goal in mind in terms of what you feel um, you're being led to bring to the church. Um, and then there are other songs like this one, which for me um, was purely devotional and personal and not something that I 
ever knew would go outside of my own kind of prayer closet, as it were. So it's a song that's really personal um, to me, and it's so fresh that it's still new for me hearing it in the context of our church and hearing a prayer that is so personal to me in other people's mouths. Um, but so I guess it's a it's a devotional song which um, is very personal, but can also be used in a corporate context. Yeah. And where does it fit in a service? Um, we usually have about a 20, 20 22 minute um, time for praise and worship at the beginning of the service. And um, so usually we fit three to four songs in that time. So I would usually put this as, um, I would suggest doing this as a song three, though I have seen it done as a song four recently, um, also a song before the message. Um, I think because it is quite thematic and specific in its theme that um, it's something that can often tie into a message that one of your pastors might be bringing. So, um, you know, inviting your leadership to speak into that and offering it as a tool for them if there's a message that it would help complement um, doing it before or after a message yeah, in ministry time or whatever. So I think it, yeah, it can be used um, and it's best used, I think, probably strategically. Okay, yeah. then do you want to show us how you actually play it? I would love to. Um, so I am playing in B flat, which is a pretty low key, but I sing pretty low. So um, you could definitely bump it up a couple to C or D if you would prefer. Uh, but in B flat, what I'm doing is I'm playing a B flat in the second inversion um, and I am losing the three. So I'm not playing the middle note of the B flat chord. And I'm basically staying pretty much on that inversion, minus the three, and I start at the tonic, B flat, I move to the four, which is the E flat, holding that B flat inversion still, so it makes it an E flat um, with a two in it. Then I go around the six, then back through the four to the one, and those chords are the same for the verse and the chorus. Um, there's a pre-chorus that happens once, and those chords are the four, to the six, to the five, and then I pass through the one over three, on the way back to the four, the six, and the five, and then back to that chorus, which is the same chords as the verse. Um, so it goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, then you get to the bridge. I pass through the one over three on the way to the four, where there is new wine, there is new six, five, one over three, four, then to the six, and to the one, which I always like, feels a bit fresh, and then back to that four, to the six, to the five, to the four, and then hang there for a second for a sila before returning to the B flat tonic for the final chorus. I trust that this song would actually bring a real freshness into the life of the greater church Praise and that it would do what you intended it for, to do in you personally, mm. corporately. Yeah. So it is beautiful. Thank you for sharing thank and thank you. you for your time today. Thank you, Cass. Because where there is new